Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just coming to you now while I'm getting ready. It's Sunday today. It is the most autumnal day so far and I am so here for it. It's like that perfect autumny day where it's so sunny outside but really i mean i'm cold like it's nice it's like really crisp outside but i am a little bit cold um but it's a little bit later in the day it's actually one o'clock i haven't been in my pajamas all day i've basically had clients um this morning so i've just showered and i'm getting ready now um but i thought i would just wait let me actually start getting ready because i'm on a little bit of a time crunch also I'm in desperate need of a glow up. Like, the skin still is not the one. Um, yeah, this the breakout is still breaking out quite a lot. Like, I feel like I'm getting a new spot every single day. This is going to make me look worse. Um, yeah, the breakout is breaking out my eyebrows need doing i feel like it's getting to that fake tan stage however i just hate fake tanning i'm trying to put it off for as long as possible but you'll see in about five seconds that my makeup doesn't match um it is i'm going out for mine and kids anniversary oh you actually have to be kidding me i've had just the worst mm, i want to swear I've had the worst luck. I've just dropped a big clump of flawless filter onto my clean pyjamas. So, straight back in the wash they go. Okay, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm getting to the point where I need to fake tan. I don't like doing it, especially when my skin is how it is at the moment. I have been using tan drops um, on my face, but I've given it a break for the past two weeks just because of how everything is. Um... But I am, I'm going out for my anniversary next week, which I will be vlogging as well. I feel, feel like, I feel like I'm going to do a whole vlog next weekend. I think we're doing pumpkin picking. We're going out for our anniversary and stuff like that. But anyway, that's besides the point. That's for next week's vlog. Yeah, I think I'm going to fake tan soon. I've also got a dance show the weekend after. So I'm going to have to bite the bullet and do it anyway. But this like really is not matching. So there's that, I just feel pale, my nails are getting done Monday, my hair, I really like my hair at the moment actually, it just got done a couple of weeks ago and I love it, um, but yeah the brows, the skin, the paleness, it's just not working and I've also entered my bulk now so I'm just feeling all round <laughs> not the best but this isn't going to be a video, oh my god. This isn't going to be a video of me complaining about how I look. We're just going to get on with it. I feel like... Oh, I just don't know what to do about my skin. Like, I just feel like that's such a lost cause of it. It was really getting me down this week. I mean, it's still getting me down now. I really hope it's gone down before the show that I'm doing because... That would be fun if not. But anyway, the point of what... I can't remember what I was saying. We're going out on a little autumnal day today. We wasn't really sure what to do just because um, obviously I had work this morning and things like that. So we wanted to say pumpkin picking till next weekend just so we can like really spend the day. But I'm just really trying to make the most of like, I feel like I'm a really Christmassy person. But I'm really trying to make the most of like autumn, Halloween this year as well. So I've actually made like a mini little bucket list for what I want to do in October which... I think some things are going to have to get cut out just because we're like halfway through already. But um, I say I want to put a bit of foundation on to cover this breakout, but it really won't match. Yeah, I've made a little bucket list. Yeah, Kira's just going to be that supportive boyfriend that <laughs> comes with me, even though he might really not want to. Why I do all these autumny things. So today, <laughs> oh my god, I can't stop speaking. Today we're going to go to a farm shop. Just because we didn't have loads of time today. We're going to go to a farm shop today. And then this evening we're either going to go and watch Saw in cinema. Or we're going to have a Halloween movie night. Because that's one of the things that I really want to do. Um, like where I've seen on TikTok that people are making like ghost 
uh, shaped pizzas. They're getting loads of like Halloween snacks and things like that. So that's another thing that's on like my little list of things to do. Um, so basically, if we go to see Saw tonight, we'll do the movie night next weekend or whatever way around. Um, oh my god, this is such a long intro. intro. But yeah, uh, farm shop today. We're getting ready now and then it will be some kind of movie night tonight, just in what form. I'm not sure yet. The only showing off Saw today is at 10 to 9. Which old me would have been like, yeah, it's fine. But now new 6am wake up me is a bit like, oof, that's pushing it for me a little bit. Like, I want to be in bed. So yeah, I'm just getting ready now. Nothing is covering this breakout. I'm watching Strictly. Um, and I've got like, oh, I think I've got about half an hour to be ready, which probably isn't going to happen. Um, so yeah, I'm just watching Strictly now. Who's everyone's favourite on Strictly? I love Bobby and Diane. Absolutely love them. Also love Ellie as well. Um, I feel like I spoke about this in my other vlog as well. Alright, I'm going while I get ready because this is just not going right. And I'll see you when I'm a little bit more ready. Are you going to balance? Yes. Okay, so I'm ready to leave now. I ended up in a massive rush what's new so i'm not overly happy with how i look but we're also not actually sure what we're doing now just because the day is getting on a little bit and the farm shop i've just completely forgot that it's sunday so obviously it's going to shut up four o'clock um so i think we're still going to go over there so we're not sure if we're going to see tonight now either because the latest showing like i said not the latest the only showing is 10 to 9 um and there's not very many seats left so we're like maybe we'll save that till next week so who knows where the day is going to take us now um but obviously you'll come along with us no matter what a bit of a different outfit for me today i don't know i don't feel very me i don't i don't know i feel like it's different for me i bought this jumper in i'll show you it properly in a minute but i bought this jumper from zara i don't know if i vlogged it but i showed it in a haul and i loved it i just didn't really know how to wear it um but I thought I'd better make the most of it today just before it gets a little bit too cold just because it's not the thickest. I think I could probably wear like a vest or something underneath. The contrast is an issue. It's 10 degrees. Why is there an ice cream van? Okay. Oh my god, okay, we're just gonna let's shut my window so we can try and because I really need to leave. So let me show you my outfit. So I'm gonna put my ray bands in my hair. Just one, it's really sunny outside, and just I feel like it needs something. Um so I'm gonna put my ray bands in. My trench is from Pretty Little Thing, the jumper is from Zara. These jeans are really, not really old, I think I bought them at the end of lockdown uh, from Boohoo. And then I've just got on my off-whites, I feel like some Uggs might look quite cute with this, but I don't have any yet, so that's that. And then jewellery wise, I have got on my Leo necklace from Abbott Leon, you know that I wear this 24-7. And then also, I have one more exciting thing to show you. Let me sit down. So, Abbott Leon very kindly gifted me um, a piece of jewellery and I'm going to show that to you. Maybe I should put the camera down to unbox it. So, I'm going to have to take it with me because I can't put that on um, one-handed. So, I'm going to have to get Kia to do it for me. But I just got this bracelet. I believe it's a birthstone bracelet. This is my kind of jewellery. Like, anything that's just really small and dainty and can kind of just be left on, like... I am really bad at forgetting to put jewellery on. So anything that I can just leave on, it's going to go with every outfit. It's not really in the way. It's perfect for me. So this is the birthstone bracelet. I believe this is the November birthstone. I believe it's, is it citrine? I'm not very, really, probably that's not how you pronounce it. But I just feel like. I know they're like birthstone bracelets and they're personal, but I just got this because I thought it would be perfect for autumn winter. Like, it's just the perfect, it's just such like an autumn colour, isn't it? Like, I'm just going to be able to put that on and it's going to blend in and just look really, I just love dainty jewellery like this. So I just want to say thank you so much to Abbott Leon for gifting me, is it Abbott Leon or Abbott Lion? 
I've always said Abbott Leon. If you know me, I've shopped on there for a while. Um, but I just want to say thank you so, so much for sending me that. I feel like jewellery like this is the perfect like gifting for Christmas and birthdays, especially with Christmas coming up. Definitely look into getting things like this. Dainty jewellery is just a perfect gift for someone because I feel like you can't really go wrong with it. It's a bit different if you was going to get someone like a big piece of statement jewellery but something dainty like this necklace and this bracelet is especially for me just perfect because like I say I can leave it on and just not really have to worry about it and honestly the quality of their jewellery for the price as well is so so good like I say I've had this necklace on now for just over a year I've been on holiday with it worn it in the pool sun sunbeds uh, like showers I haven't taken this off for over a year now and it has just not tarnished at all and the same with this one I'm just going to leave it on because they do not tarnish on their website it does say that they have an extra protective layer to kind of stop you know like when you wear a really cheap piece of jewelry and you'll end up with like a green mark where it's been with the pieces from Abbott Leon you don't get that at all like I say I've honestly had this one on for probably about a year and a half now actually and it's Still good as new. I also really like that you can personalise a lot of their jewellery. Like I say, this necklace says Leo, which is obviously my star sign, which I've always had a Leo necklace that it's always been just like a £2 cheap necklace, so I really wanted one that was going to last me a long time. The bracelet is obviously a birthstone bracelet, so you can choose a birthstone that's meaningful to you. Um, and there's also a lot of jewellery on the website that you can like put names on. This necklace you could have put a name on as well, but a lot of their stuff you can personalise it to you, which I just love. Again, especially for gifting, I feel like it just makes it a lot more personal. One more thing that I love about this jewellery is that I'm going to be able to stack it, so... Like I say, I'm just going to put this on and leave it on, but I can also stack it with other bracelets from them just because they're so nice and dainty. I can just have a couple on at a time and it's not too much, it's not overpowering. They're really easy to like mix and match and also stack on top of each other. So I really need to leave now. I'm going to go and take this with me. Let me put it back in the little box. See, these boxes are just perfect. I'm going to take this with me, get Keir to put it on when I'm there. But if you have got like a birthday coming up or Christmas, I really do suggest looking on this website because there is so many just really, really nice bits of jewellery. And like I say, the quality is so good and especially for the price as well. So definitely take a look on the Abbott Leon website. Also, before I go, perfume of choice today is obviously going to be Zara Red Temptation. Um, and now I need to leave before it's too late. So we've just got to the farm shop now. I didn't even know this was here. Like this, this is honestly, this is about like a five, ten minute drive from your house, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea this was here, but it looks very cute, very autumnal. We've got toffee apples, and I used to love these. I think I feel like I'm going to get myself one, but I don't know. You definitely not want one. Do I get a white one or like an actual toffee one? Chocolate or toffee? Chocolate, yeah. Okay. I feel like this one looks nice. Like that. All the little Christmas stuff, so cute. Okay, I've tried to set the camera up, but for some reason, you can't see me. We went to the farm shop and it was nice, it was cute, but I couldn't really vlog in there. I tried to vlog a little bit and they're like I just feel like I'm annoying people by doing it. So I didn't vlog too much, but it was really cute. They had loads of Christmassy stuff out. I got myself, you're not gonna be able to see, a oh, oh no. A uh like chocolate covered apple. I used to have these all the time at like maybe fireworks night. I can't really remember, but I haven't had one in ages. So I'm gonna eat that, but I'm gonna eat it later. Um not a lot was open at the farm shop. I feel like maybe because we went a little bit later. So we've just driven to Canterbury now to have a little walk around. Wait, everything's going to be shut here as well. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. It is. Oh, my hair's like all knotted. It's freezing. Um... Okay, so I've been bad at vlogging again today, shock, but we just wasn't really sure what to do. We did go and have a little, oh my god, my hair, we did go and have a little look around Canterbury. Um, but obviously as we got there, like, all the shops were shut in and everything. I really, really, really want that viral pink jumper from Primark. And what's so annoying is, me and my mum went into Primark in August, they had it, it hadn't gone viral yet. 
they had it in my size but i'm so typical with like i'll i'll, I'll I'll get it close to the time. I'm not going to be able to wear it yet. So I'll, I'll, I'm so cold. So I was like, I'll just get it later. Have I been able to find it ever since? No. And it's so annoying. Um, but yeah, we just had a little walk around. It was still like, it's nice and all to me. It's such a nice day. So, well, it's very cold, if I haven't said. But it's just nice to have a little walk around. Um, so we did that. We stopped at like a little, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Kokora not sure there's a little like i think it's maybe asian food i suppose they do sushi and stuff like that and we got like a rice and sweet chili chicken box to share just as like a little something because i hadn't eaten since breakfast he's not eating at all today and um, so we just got that to like kind of tide us over we are gonna go and watch saw tonight they haven't got the seats that we want we like the recliner ones at the cinema near our house they do like um reclining seats and things like that but I thought there'd be more showings for Saw and there's not. Um, but we also, like I said earlier, we want to do the... I feel like my nose has gone really red from the cold. We want to do the like Halloween movie night. But again, forgetting it was Sunday, all the shops were shut so we couldn't get the snacks we want. So it was like, let's just... Let's go and watch Saw tonight and we'll do the movie night next week. So I've just left him now. I'm on my way back to my house. I need to get a thumbnail done for a video that... It was supposed to be going up right now, but I've had to postpone it because I haven't done the thumbnail. Um, I'm going to do my meal plan for the week and just get myself all cosy, ready for the cinema. Um, but yeah, I'm going to drive home now. I'm going to take my makeup off because it feels really, like, greasy. Um, and just get myself cosy. Okay, so it is a little while later now. I feel like that's all I've done today. But I've just been trying to get myself, like, set up for the week. If you've seen my, like, fitness update and stuff like that, I try to have like a kind of reset day on a Sunday, but obviously it's not always like feasible. Is feasible the right word to have like a full reset day? Obviously I still have a life as well. Um, so I just came home for a couple of hours to try and get myself feeling a little bit more sorted for the week. I've just packaged up some vintage parcels ready to take down tomorrow. Um, I watched the Strictly results. That's not really part of my reset. I made a start on my meal plan. Um, but now I am ready to go to the cinema. It's This is my cinema coat. This is probably actually like my go-to cinema outfit. Only thing is, <sighs> I'm wearing these trainers. However, I am, I know I keep saying it and I don't want to keep saying it. I'm really cold, okay? And I think I might have to put socks and sliders on just so I can have my socks over my ankles. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is like my go-to cinema outfit this coat it's like a big blanket so i always wear it and then a tracksuit again i kind of want to put a t-shirt on underneath because it's just really cold and i feel like cinemas are always colder um and i have considered a scarf as well but i don't know if i'm gonna look a little bit too extra i already look like i'm part of the film i've got like black all under my eyes i've taken my makeup off but not washed my face yet just because i know i'm gonna be washing it when i'm back um and i don't want to wash it before I don't want to wash it now for a bit. I don't want to wash it now because I know I actually don't like scary films. So my hand's going to be all over my face. I feel like I've said this before. I don't watch... I've never watched a horror... Well, I used to try and make myself watch horror films. And it actually probably scarred me more than it did any help. But I've started to feel left out and I want to feel Halloween-y. So I've started to manage to watch. Which is weird because I'm a really squeamish person. Uh, like Scream, I actually really enjoy. I went to watch Halloween Ends. I have seen, was it called Spiral? And it was like a spin-off from Saw or something to do with Saw. I've seen that as well. And then I've watched like a couple of the Saw films. Um, I feel like with films like that, you know when it's going to be really gory and can look away. It kind of defeats the point of me watching it. But I cannot watch anything with like ghosts or demons in. Like I want kids to pick me up a little bit later today. So I don't. Usually I'm fine going in watching the adverts. Like I quite enjoy it. I eat my nachos. But I really want to try and avoid the adverts today. Because I really like it scares me so much. Anything to do with that. And just being in the room. I don't know. I just get weird vibes from it. I don't like it. Um, but yeah. I'm just waiting for kids to pick me up now. I cannot wait for some cinema nachos. I think I'm going to get popcorn as well. Some sweets to go in the popcorn and a Tango Ice Blast. Even though last time we went, the Ice Blast machine wasn't working. I'm guessing it'll be fixed by now, but never know. Um, and a big Coke. I cannot wait. I love the cinema so much. I'm really excited. I've been craving the cinema. But I do think my ankles are going to get cold. 
Mm. My ears, my eyebrows are invisible. I'm a little bit scared. We went to cinema that time with a guy named Shubby, yeah? and we see.